Kendrick Bourne is a guy who meshed with Mac in year one, more, much more so than, you know, maybe with the exception of Henry, mm-hmm. much more so than the other players. Something he did pissed off Bill during training camp had to do with the effort, attitude, offseason he had, whatever that is. Um, so he suits up and he doesn't play. So don't suit him up then. What are you mm-hmm. doing? Proving points? Like, you're not in a position where you can do that right no, now. That's, that can- was my... Yeah, that's the same way I feel. Like this is You isn't, can't this do isn't, it. I don't think Kendrick Bourne saves you, but what are we what are we doing that this is a thing where you're sending a message suiting a guy up and not using him while no one can get open and, and then you finally try it and he and he it works. Mm-hmm. 40 40 yards. Harder, makes right. you look makes you Off look even bat. worse. At that uh-huh. point, yeah. don't put him in at all. And it's it's you need obviously you don't know the stuff behind the scenes, right? Like what it went on. But I thought embarrassing him enough in that preseason game, right, right where his locker was open. He, had, he got thrown out of practice, and you know he just doesn't even show up for the game. Like, not even on the sidelines. Like that's embarrassing enough. And talk about a guy that I think brought it brought a ton of juice to that offense last year. Where that's something you're lacking. You've lacked the whole time. I just I don't understand it. Like you know they have a lot of B receivers, right? It's Kendrick Bourne, you know, much better than Devontae Parker or Jacob Myers, right? Like they all bring something different. I think they're kind of all on that same par level, Mm -hmm. but he's somebody that's really good after the catch, somebody that consistently got open. And like you said, built some sort of rapport with Mac Jones last year. And it's just a weekly thing. Now we're going on almost a month, right? Where he's been on the second team. He got embarrassed in a preseason game. They suit him up here today. And I actually give him a lot of credit. Obviously I'm not down there, but listening to his post game interview, He's very professional about well, it, right? I'll, I'll play that to... right here. I have yeah. it for everybody. I'm going to play. Here's Kendrick Bourne. And again, he could have, he could have, he could have gone off, but he didn't. Here's what he had to say. How would you describe just your emotions after really not playing and, and trying to process what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, just waiting for my opportunity. Yeah, just uh, waiting for the coaches and uh, just waiting for the moment for me to go in. What have they told you about why this is the case? Uh, not sure. Just. Play my role, you know what I mean. So whatever I gotta do, I'm just waiting for that moment. I, I can't really, I don't really know. So just waiting on the opportunity. How frustrating has it been? Wait. Um, it's tough, you know. Just keep my, just keep my mind in it, though. Knowing my teammates are capable, you know what I mean. It's not about me. It's not my part. It's not. None of, it's not about me at all. So um, just waiting for the opportunity. That's all I can really say. Can, did, did anything happen, maybe that you could share with us that you might think? Uh, no, just. Not giving the coaches what they want, what they what they need to see. So, just need to get better on my part. Kendrick, you're an overly positive person. Is there a sense of disappointment the way things are going? Yeah, I mean, I look at that right, like you said, could have bashed him. I, I thought that was very professional of him. And like you said, this has been an ongoing thing. I don't understand it, right? I, it, just from being around him, seeing the type of teammate he is, it doesn't seem like he's the guy that's going to pop off at somebody or a coach or, you know, he, he's, he's a, he's a team guy, not a, not a wee guy, right? Like some of these receivers, right? They want the ball. They're kind of that diva mentality. He seems like he wants to win. I don't understand it. And like you said, when nobody else on your wide receiver court really did anything today and you just continuously wait, 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 while you're still in the game, your defense is getting your timely stops. You put him in and you get a 41 yarder and then he's back on the bench. What are we doing here? You're not you're not the same Patriot team you were five years ago where you could afford to do that and still get a win, right? Where you're sending a message. You're not good enough to do that anymore. That's what's frustrating. Yeah. If how it were about you, that. How quickly do you lose people, though? How quickly does this turn into 2009? Very soon. If it's not already there. Right. Well, I mean, look at Kendrick Bourne. Look you don't at, know what's again, going on there, but look at Kendrick Bourne. I would argue that's, that's a very 2009-ish occurrence. And, and um, look, how, I'm not going to yeah. say that they they're, they're past the point of no return. They're not right. If they clearly not you know, get in the lab, figure it out next week, actually put Kendrick Bourne out there. Steelers passed. I, I know they had four picks, but they didn't look amazing today. Like Joe Burrow just didn't look great. There's a lot thought, of beatable teams early in this slate. You come out next week, you throw for 300 yards on, on Pittsburgh Bourne goes off for 120 and a touchdown. Everything's hunky dory, right? You've got Yo, to born out, going but... off for 120 and a touchdown is the same thing as Malcolm Butler getting three picks in the first game of the following season. I don't want to he- if that happens, I'm going to be angry, not happy. Right. But no, I would be angry too. But Bourne <laughs> went for a third of that today. Easy. <laughs> on on two snaps, he went for a third of that. No, it would be annoying. It would be. It would be because it'll we'll get late in the Bourne's going to come back, have a great year. It's going to be late in the season. They're going to need like one game for something yep. in the standings. And we're going to say, well, if only Kendrick Bourne had played in Miami. 
Like, and that's, that's where how, I'm not going to get into happen. it. It's like, let's not pretend we everyone right. thought Kendrick Bourne was the world beater that he kept out of there that would have been the difference. It's just, I don't understand what you're doing here, uh, you know, and why you're doing it at this point. Why even dress him if you're still sending a message? None well, we've of been makes, asking that question since the Eagles Super Bowl. None of it makes sense. And it very much is the Eagles Super Bowl situation. They're like, what do you, why even dress him? Just to show the world that like, you're going to sit there and you're going to be embarrassed for the whole game and everyone's going to wonder why you're not playing. I don't really get that. but And it just looks worse on him. Yeah. It doesn't like, embarrass him. And no one's sitting here like, oh, yeah, Kendrick Bourne. He was really embarrassed today. You know, Bill really showed him. We're all saying, what the heck was that? It doesn't It doesn't solve anything. It doesn't solve well, any inside not, or outside. It's not to show it. us. It's to show and, – and, and Bill said it wasn't disciplinary. I don't know that I totally right. buy that. Just like – He wouldn't tell us if it was, I don't in, think. In general, like when these sort of things happen, right, just from being around sports teams and all of that, the message is to the rest of the team – the message is to Bourne. It's – you did something where now we saw you unfit to play and look what you look at the situation you left the team in. Like that's the, that's I, the I don't know exactly what's going to be on behind the scenes, but Mike, you've played on teams. Like, you know, like when you bench a player, that's the point. It's look at the situation you put the right. team in by your actions. You need to be more team oriented. Right. I'm not saying that that's like that Bourne did something that deserved that treatment, but that's generally that's what the, the intended message is behind these things. Right. For better or worse. Yeah, for, sure. for, for better or for worse. And I don't know that Kendrick Bourne necessarily makes the difference today. Um, but again, if you you're know. searching if you're searching for offense and you bring a guy in and he immediately well, goes for, you know, 41-yard completion down the sideline. That crossing route, that Aguilar fumble, that was Bourne's route last year. Yeah. yeah. Bourne's a little more adept at putting the ball in his hands in that spot. So I'll say good that. Good point. That's a good point, too.